Hi students, this is a second practice with some new vocabulary, some idioms for food that are very common in American English. Um, if you have already watched the first food idiom video, we will be adding some additional idioms in this new video. If you haven't, don't worry, you can watch this video first and then go back to watch the other food idiom video on the channel. Remember that an idiom is a phrase of words that has a different meaning from each individual word uh, when that phrase is used together in a sentence or in a paragraph. The meaning is different from the individual words. Let's jump right into these idioms. The first idiom for us today is to walk on eggshells. To walk on eggshells. And this is a verb phrase, so I can use this in the present, in the future, in the past. We can make it continuous, any tense. For example, I was walking on eggshells all weekend. I always walk on eggshells. We will walk on eggshells with her. The meaning of this phrase, think about how would you walk on an eggshell? It would hurt. You would walk very carefully. Um, this phrase, to walk on eggshells, means to be very, very careful around somebody or with somebody. For example, um, my dear friend had a divorce and her heart is broken. So now this week, this month, I am walking on eggshells with her. I am very careful. What do I say? How do I act? Um, don't talk about the husband. Don't talk about this because she might become upset. I am walking on eggshells. Sometimes your spouse, your husband, your wife is in a terrible mood. And all day you must walk on eggshells. Be careful, don't say something. She will be upset. He will be upset. I must walk on eggshells. To be very careful around somebody. The next idiom, and I love, I love this idiom, has to do with the word pickle in English. Pickle. Now, many of our home countries, we use the word pickle to describe a hundred different vegetables that are prepared with vinegar. In the United States, the word pickle is almost always used with cucumber for this specific food, cucumber. We have a phrase in English, in a pickle, in a pickle, and it means to be in a difficult situation. After the car accident, she was in a pickle. She had no way to get to her job, but she needed the job to get money to get a new car, but no car to get to the job. Definitely she was in a pickle. Wow, my student was telling me about this really bad situation. He was in a pickle. The next idiom we are talking about is a piece of cake. This is a really common idiom. You have probably heard it before in a television show. Um, to say that something is a piece of cake means that it's very easy. Oh, that math test. Puh, it was a piece of cake. You know that English test I was so worried about, but it was a piece of cake. How was, how was the driving yesterday? Your first day driving in the winter, how was it? It was no problem. It was really a piece of cake. The idiom with cookie is one of my favorites as well. And we use the phrase smart cookie to describe somebody. Already by putting the word smart 
you get the feeling what this idiom means. We use it a lot to talk about children, but I could use it also to talk about an adult. You know your daughter, she really is a smart cookie. Wow, she's a smart cookie. He's a smart cookie. You gotta push him to improve because he is a smart cookie. Another really funny idiom in English is the big cheese. Often we use this phrase, the big cheese, to describe the leader of some company, the leader of some organization or some group. The president thinks he is the big cheese. In the classroom, I am the big cheese. Who is the big cheese in your house, you or your spouse? Actually, to be honest, my daughter thinks she is the big cheese of our house. Our final idiom for this practice is two peas in a pod. And we use this to describe two people who are very, very similar. My sister and I, we are like two peas in a pod. My best friend and I, we are two peas in a pod. You know, my, my big daughter and I, we are not two peas in a pod. We used to be two peas in a pod, but not anymore. We use this phrase to describe two people who feel so much similar, almost identical, like two peas in the pod. This pod is the shape, the shell of the pea. So a quick review of these idioms from our second food idiom practice. To walk on eggshells, in a pickle, a piece of cake, a smart cookie, the big cheese, and two peas in a pod. How are these idioms for you? I hope that some of them were new. Um, let me know in the comments. As always, put something in the comments, practicing putting these idioms into a sentence. I am very happy to give you some feedback. If you haven't watched the first food idiom video, go back to find that video. Practice with these idioms. They are not necessary for daily conversation, but definitely they help to push up how natural you sound in your daily conversation. Um, and they're just fun. They're just a fun piece of English. Until next time, students. Bye.